Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here on Noli. How are my adventures doing? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, there is quite a lot of things I want to talk about right now that we have to do. I was gonna go do this dungeon. I was gonna do a roaring, but as something first we gotta attempt. I've made Technically, seven bows. I'm wearing one of them now. And we're going to try and get our yellow bow. Even though it costs way too much, it's really expensive right now. I at least want to get the materials for it. I finally got to level 50 on my bow. And I'm almost ready to evolve my sprite so it can go to level 70. The only problem is... It costs 31 gold <laughs> in order to um, actually do this. Uh, hold on, I gotta open Grafitage on my PC. Uh, you can actually open, a lot of people do this anyway. It's You can have two accounts open at the same time, as long as this account's open. Do so you push the icon again at the bottom? Well, you open up another Grafitage as long as your character's already signed in. But as long as you put in a different account name, you can, you know, have a second account. Everybody does that. Everybody knows it because it is too much of a problem to get into uh, Mutated Dungeons because you need a raid group for Mutated Dungeons. Even though most Mutated Dungeons are soloable. And I need to go... Oh, what's this? Not only looks like an event. Yeah, it's probably an event. But um, I need to do a mutated uh, prairie cave for this item. To get your yellow items, you have to do mutated dungeons. And the mutated dungeon is basically hard mode, is what it, it technically is. But I'm going to teach you guys how to actually get into the mutated dungeons if you guys are curious about that. Because we definitely have to get our yellow weapon. Or we don't have that. We don't have to have it, but I want it. Mostly for my archive and for, you know, damage. I was wondering, what do you do? Oh, you're just there. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna have to save our soul. Oh shit, there is no save point for our soul here. But, uh, I believe it is level 45 for the first mutated dungeon to actually open up. So let me go ahead and get into my... Account... Ah, oh, it wants me to do extra stuff. Ah, oh, this is why. Hopefully this is the right account. <laughs> Part of me don't think it is. Okay, there we go. Join. Okay, this account will be named Mutated Dungeon. Just because he is literally my fodder for Mutated Dungeons. There he is. So you would invite. Then whoever's the leader is going to change it to convert party to raid formation. And now, once you're in raid formation, 
go in, and now you're inside a wart, wart Perry cave. It is the same as the normal one, just that you don't have quests. You don't have quests, you don't have uh, mission boards for this place. It is just that they're a little bit stronger. They do drop better loot too. Um, my gear is over here. I have to get him. But they also have drops, if I remember correctly, right? Do you have it? No, you don't drop it. Do you drop it? No, you don't drop it either. Hold on. I need to remember where to get these. Because these are needed to make that. These hated nucleus. Okay, they are dropping the bosses. I have to kill the bosses in order to get them. Noted. Oof. I don't know how much these bosses are going to drop. Guess we're just going to see. Another thing is, you don't get the bonuses. Whoops, I did it again. You don't get the bonuses. Okay. So you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, you can die in this one a lot easier. I don't know if I'll be able to solo the boss, to be honest. It's because that's going to be a lot of damage I'm taking. Plus, my gear is also not up to date yet. I'm low on gold, so I can't actually, like, get everything done. But I can do this. So if you can bring like a teammate in here, definitely should. <laughs> uh, certain classes can solo, certain classes cannot. This I don't think is a good solo class for this. Unless I'm like doing some really good damage and unless this effect goes off. I was talking about. We can have him take that start off aggro. Now I can just start picking off one by one in the range. Alright, we're gonna resummon. Send him over there. Nice done, nice done. Did you... Did you level? Damn it, you. Ah, he needs one more. Literally by one... By one, you little shit? Really? I want to clear these out just because I don't want any incidents. <laughs> and when I'm saying incidents, I, <laughs> I don't want um, him dying and just taking all the aggro again. We've already learned firsthand that these guys do a lot of damage. Once I complete beast control, I need to move so I don't range attack by mistake. They 
also corrected um, a tainted shot, apparently. To where tainted shots translation has been fixed. Which, that, that still kind of looks fucked up with that space. I, I think somebody still goofed on that. But you know what? Hey, they tried. It's an A for effort for me, dog. <laughs> um. I'm hoping I can do this because I really want to finish this though. Okay, so now we're 50. Here's the thing I wanted to talk about. This gear sucks. Because, first off, the five-piece set gives extra damage to a skill we don't even have yet. This is a reincarnation skill. Why do we have a reincarnation skill on our set that we cannot use? That seems stupid. I'm just saying. That seems very stupid. I want to drag him out, so I'm just going to resummon. I'm also thinking about a Malice build. Like a lower Malice build. Damn, he's an aim for a lot. Damn, he hits me for half? Jesus Christ. Yeah, he hits me for half. No fish. Ah, oh, merchandise. Oh, okay, I don't have a merchandise for that. But yeah. I normally come back to this, like, way later on. Oh, wow, it dropped me off here. This is where I last saved my soul. But yeah, I normally do that like way later on, just showing you guys how difficult it is with the current gear without it being upgraded. And so that, that's probably the maximum issue you're going to run across when you do mutated dungeons. I just wanted to test it and see because I'm able to do mutated dungeons on my uh, on my paladin like very easily. That's the sad part. On my Paladin, I was able to do it, like, clean. Even at the same level as this. But I cannot do it... ...with the current stuff I have now. So, we're gonna go do Dragon... Well, not Dragon, uh, Roaring Maul now. Um, the... But first, let's go ahead and travel to... ...here and go to a banker and put these in now. Told you, crafting yellow weapons won't be easy at all. You will need a team for it. Especially if you're like of a squishier class. If you're of like a really squishy class and you're trying to solo it, good luck. I actually didn't even expect to take that much damage. But then again, I should have I should have known. Put these in there. That is all my bows. Uh, the another thing you can do is you can you can type in the world chat if somebody is looking for a raid. Well, if you're looking for a raid and you just need to go in there and, you know, speed run it. People will actually form a raid group with you if they're just sitting in here so you can go solo it. Or if if they're also doing a raid inside of a different dungeon as well. That's also a thing. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to come back to the 
to that dungeon just because I need to make my bow anyway later on just so I can have it for reincarnation. Or I can hop on my druid and, you know, kind of port it over. Because we are, we're gonna need it. Well, we probably won't need it, actually. Nah, I don't think we'll need it. I think we just have to fix our setup. I was gonna collect these and sell them. Or do like a territory on them, but I remembered that my druid has a whole bunch and I can just do the tutorial off that. So, yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff saved up, which is great. Wait, did I put my older bow in there? God damn it. I think I put my attack speed bow in there. But we don't have to make the yellow gear right away. I should have tested it before I actually, like, you know, made those bows. But I actually like this bow because it has uh, attack speed on it. I actually got lucky with that. The rest of them was will. Yeah, the rest of them were like willpower. Which is crazy to keep getting willpower. Set in there. There we go. Alright. It is time to go do our dungeon. The little detour that we just did is over. Not only that, the, the amount of gold we need anyway is pretty up there. So we gotta do some quests. Oh, where was this quest at? This quest is in the Scorching Desert. Ha, oh, dude, that price is absurd. I will use a teleport. You can fuck right off, mate. I shall not do that. God damn, brother. I'm not looking forward to doing Sunken City anymore. Well, not Sunken City, Sunken Fortress. Just because of that outcome. At the Mutated Dungeon. Because there's going to be a lot of long preparation now. Oh, that gives... 25 gold. Okay, that could be that could be uh, actually good. Like very beneficial. Here's also another thing. Um, when you're using summons, um, use a lot of buffs before you use that summon. The reason I say that is because let's say for example, um, my Panther, it's supposed to gain the additional Gain an additional 24% of the character's total damage and redu damage reduction. If I use a whole bunch of damage reduction, you know, gear sets or potions and stuff like that, he will also get that much damage reduction. So potentially you can have a panther that is either immune, well, completely immune to reflection damage. But it's also that if you're going to play like that, you also have to have low malice. But you also can't tell how much malice you have versus your panther. That is the only issue of that. And it sucks. I also lost all 100 gold trying to get up to level 50, so I'm also not proud of that as well. There's also something else I want to do at the end of this series. And it's... It, it's gonna be something like totally separate from this. Jesus Christ, Dark Sprite event. You could just. Okay. 
Now that the dark sprite event is done spamming. Um, what was I saying before I got distracted by that? Oh, I thought I was hitting you. Oh, God damn it. It, it would target that one. Did you aggro onto me? Were you guys always that long aggroed? All I gotta say is I might have to change to a firearm sprite just for the malice lower sprite. Well, sprite weapon. Yeah, this. At level 65, every five levels you get to create a yellow weapon, which is not fun because <laughs> it takes a lot of investment. So right now, I guess I'm per I'm prepping for reincarnation. Is what I would say. That would be the only way I could put that is I'm prepping for reincarnation. Christ, you guys got long range in here. It's easier to both switch now with uh, the attack speed. I just gotta have this up. I wish there was like extinct differences between each bow. But annoyingly enough, they look nearly similar. So I'm confusing myself. Killing these enemies also do nothing for me. They don't drop XP. The bandits don't drop XP for this dungeon. So killing them or farming them is completely useless. You're gonna aggro on, aren't you? Yep. My uh, attack speed bow will always be my opener. As soon as I get the attack speed for it, it is okay to switch to my damage bow. But you guys can see both of, are, both of them are proccing. I can get that going.
Oh god, I can't move right there. I might level anyway. I just might. But the uh, back to the serious thing I was talking about. This, um, I might do a mini series after this whole reach in-game thing that we're doing. To where I visit private servers and compare them to this server and see what different functions they have, what interesting things that would be great to see inside of like global. I'm not completely leaving global or anything like that. Because I actually like the way global is set up and I always like supporting the official thing. But I've always been curious about, you know, yeah, there the private servers and trying to figure out like you know why players are leaving for the private servers seeing what unique things that separate them which is going to be uh fun to take a look at I mean, I can already think of a lot of things, but I even happen to go to the um, to the other servers of a lot of things that players don't like. Uh, players really don't like pin that is in the game penetration. Oh, oh whoops. That's a, that's one thing that a lot of the servers have. Is no pin. And that's one thing I can definitely tell you that players don't like is pin. I mean the crystal. Uh, these crystals also have a gimmick to them. I just don't know what gimmick they have. Back, back to the damn crystal. Stop it. I might actually like say which one's like the best private server. It, it, it really depends on like how I set this up. We'll figure it out. As of right now, we have a long way to go before we even touch private servers. But 
Plus, I gotta gain my skills back on swapping gears. God damn it. He's gonna attack it. Okay, no, he's still in the bit. <laughs> he's still busy in there attacking that crystal. Oh, well, we got uh, the next dungeon. So I guess we're gonna have multiple dungeons to go through. Oh yeah, we gotta go to that dude. I thought there was a dungeon, well, a monster here, apparently. Oh, don't I have to come all the way back here later? I actually don't remember. Stop that. Dude, can I get my panther back? He's being special. <laughs> I think I'll have a lot more of a kit to work with as I get into level, like, probably 60. Once we get our class changed, I'll probably have a lot more to work with. But we're level 53 now, which is great. Uh, which way? We're going up? Yeah, this way. But as you guys saw, I could I could not kite worth the shit. Plus, there's also a debuff if you destroy the defectors that you lose defense as well. So keep that in mind. I could be getting destroyed later on. Panther, could you come the fuck back and quit attacking random things? Thank you. Because I want to be over here. I want to step behind him, but you know, it's difficult. Oh god, he has a stun, just like the one inside of uh, whichever dungeon he was in. Uh, Kadim Mines. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I need more movement speed. Or this is all just gonna always be atrocious. Okay, gave me two bars. That's cool. The way I feel about Ranger right now is that Ranger is uh, hella squishy. <laughs> and Evasion's not really going to help me late game, I will say that. I just wanted to try it. It doesn't seem like it will help me late game, at least, like, at least right now. I guess I wouldn't be having this issue <laughs> if I was using like, what the hell did I just hit? If I was using my throne or mount. So welcome to uh, new players <laughs> struggling on uh, mutated dungeons. <laughs> 
you won't be able to craft your yellow weapons until you get like to a certain point to where your character starts to like you know feel decent inside of like higher content Attacking Chris again. He doesn't know any better. Oh, God damn it. Ah, I want to move to like certain locations, but it's difficult. Do I have to resummon you again? Is this what you're telling me? So far, we've made quite a decent go for just that one quest out. So maybe I'll try and get somebody to run some um, dungeons with me. Somebody who won't charge me, though. Because if, if they're going to charge me, I can easily just wait. Don't tell me I need... Oh my god, I needed those mages. Oh, I'm going to fight you. Oh my god, I needed those mages. Why the f... Why put the mages in the room where I need them? I don't know, maybe because we're fucking brain dead and we, you, you know, just a few more fucking left. There was two inside of here. There was three in other. Okay, I... Good thing that I did not kill these. I have to go back and kill those in order for this quest to be completed. Thank fucking god I didn't kill all, kill all of them. That was so stupid. Let me go back to these areas and, you know, get my fucking archmages. It kind of pissed me off a bit, not gonna lie. You're still here attacking the damn crystal, brother? Damn it, bagel. Every time with you. You let down your father. You know this, right? At this point, preparation is just everything. Like I said, once you hit level 50, everything comes down to preparation. Because you can start steamrolling through all the dungeons if, if you get set up enough.
There's one of the Archangels. Well, Archmages. There's a second. I need the other two arch mages in here. Damn, I was hoping you would activate yourself that one dude and I can just shred this room. There it is. Oh my god, is there not another? Oh, I'm pissed. There is not another fucking one in here? There's not another Archmage in here. I have to restart this damn dungeon. You got to be fucking kidding me. You know, that's 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 always great to get the short end of the fucking stick. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. You want me to have a certain enemies? Don't put it in the same room as the fucking shit I need. I'm not in battle. Where is this battle? Fucking bagel. Get out of combat. Oh no, apparently it's something else. Okay, we have to run outside because we have to redo this quest thanks to, you know, that enemy being in the worst fucking spot in existence. Note to self, grab that quest. Uh, I probably should have grabbed those keys too, actually. I should go back and grab those keys so I don't have to search for it later. At least grab two. This does what now? Oh. That's neat. I'm triggered, man. I can't even be asked anymore. Can I have this? Thank you. I'm gonna put these keys to, to good use, I promise. Any decent ones? Yeah, there's one with lower malice. Lower malice, HP still, and attack speed. I mean, that was decent. Oh yeah, don't I have to come back with the silver key and go in there? I think I do. No, no, you're next, apparently. Oh, I guess stuttered monsters are inside of this one. I don't think these two count towards that. Well, towards this quest line. It only counts towards uh, the repeat quest. 
I didn't think this opened up at level 56. That kind of threw me off a bit, not gonna lie to you. I would have loved not to be in dungeons right now. I would have loved to just, you know, do the outside world because that's a lot easier. <laughs> and a lot less is needed. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to be using orange bows for now on. I don't want to go into the whole process of like getting yellows at the moment until I'm actually, until I actually feel like I'm ready. So I'll probably just work on older bows as we go. I like how you're zero, but that stays up. Refresh this. That is ready. Um, Resummon Bagel because Bagel's gonna get into more trouble. So additional um, reduction. So right now he should be able to have. What is it? He should be able to have. 30, 30 damage reduction. I think we'll be ready to take on dungeons if I can give him, get him to 50. Or we might be able to, actually, I don't think I have enough. Oh yeah, I gotta go out and restart the dungeon. But I don't know if I have enough to buy the second form of um, wild yet. I might, not second form, third form of it, number three. Damn, that is so far. <laughs> I am too lazy to go out there. But then again, I wanna see where Bagel's uh, HP ends up. We'll teleport back instead. I, I wanna see how much he gains and how much it is so I can have like a goal to get to and uh, we definitely need to bring this up if we're gonna start tackling like you know certain dungeons certain mutated dungeons we gotta definitely bring this up I definitely want to fight art, find art of defense and um, reflexes. Because here's the thing I can have reflexes up, summon my Panther, and he'll have this stat, this uh, 6% damage reduction. Then I can switch to movement. Because, like I was saying before, I got distracted. Um, minions. Minions will take whatever current stat you have. Not your not your stat without buffs. It will take whatever buffs you have on as well. So let's say if you put on a whole bunch of HP buffs and you resummon it, it's gonna have those buffs. It has those buffs into you until the pet dies. When as soon as the pet dies, those buffs disappear. You have to redo it over again. Uh, this works with necromancers, minions, and this works with, um, this mostly works with, um, time travelers puppet. That's mostly where I seen it from. Time travelers puppet gets like 20% of your base stats, like, um, defense and stuff like that. Okay, it was 12. Oh god, I can go up more. But... 
have nothing to sell, dude. Damn it. Gold is so fucking annoying to get, dude. I guess either between my skills or bringing up my gear. Ugh. Every time, man. Yeah, that's brought up. Uh, what about gloves? I don't think gloves has been brought up. Nah, gloves are not. Agility, uh, defense. We're gonna need a lot of defense. Like, a good amount of defense. Oh, we can just do this. And go back. Okay. There we go. This time, let's not attack any uh, detectors, because if we kill the detectors, we uh, we get defense down, and I don't want to deal with that. Um, we're killing these guys again for the XP. Her name is not in um in the green. Well, since their level is not in the green, it's still white right now. We might as well take advantage of it. But we're gonna mow our way through to where we were. I need to see you there. God damn it. Ugh. Wherever my camera's facing is where I want to go, damn it. You see, the base version of Dungeons are, are exceptionally easy. It's a new set of dungeons you gotta worry about. Where am I? I got confused. Um, am I going to write? Okay, this is the way. <laughs> These question marks are very relatable to me right now. Wait, why are you attacking me? I didn't even hit you. I don't even think I was that close, was I? There's a good chance to proc a lot of skills when you have, like, attack speed. I keep saying Archangel, Archmage. Okay, 
Okay, I have enough for my uh, call to wild now. I'm almost about to level up too, again. Mostly thanks to the BS of uh, having to redo this. Did you run up there? I think that's what... Is that what batter is? It's done. Oh no, you're below a certain amount of HP. Never mind, you just got that stun. Is that too close? I've been hitting everything else from that distance. Yeah, the stun comes in when he's at low 50. Forgot about that. No, don't attack the defector. Or detector. instead of doing this. God damn it. Stop tagging that. I'm going through arrows like it's nothing now. <laughs> I will say that. I think I'm heading the right way. Yeah. But then again, I have the keys. I can check if I can go the other way, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know if it's a quest. I get this room. Um, oh, it's useless for me. Yeah, one more bar. XP.
My attack speed isn't isn't happening right now. Come on, attack speed bow. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Brock. So I can clear out this whole room. Okay, there we go. Next few weapons are always my favorite weapons. Just because of this. I just like being able to low key just spam a whole bunch of like shots at enemies. Bagel's gonna be useless in this dungeon, by the way. <laughs> As you can tell. Bagel doesn't want anything to do with any of these enemies other than the fucking crystals. Even if I'm not targeting them, somehow they aggro him. Okay, here we go. This is where the actual, like, golems are. Dead! Damn it. I hit a fucking detector. Great. Gotta, gotta love it, man. That was my own doing. Should be using chart skills with how easy it is to get points, but it's part of my brain is like, whoops, okay. I didn't know that was still in queue. Oh, I'm my hands on the wrong button, that's why. But part of my brain is like, ooh, chart skills for full gauge usability. Big hit, go boom. Not just utility. Hey, utility. <laughs> I'm not used to passively gaining. Yeah, I'm not used to passively gaining points off of the, a certain skill and it just, you know, being maxed. I'm also not used to having like multiple gauge skills. Yeah, 
Yeah, that going up like very fast. I am not used to it. Oh, I'm stuck on bones. That's why. Get out the bones. <laughs> Maniac. Fight this guy who I don't remember what you are. What boss are you? Are you the lion? Or space? boss dude there we go um I gotta go talk to uh, Prince Casper. And we can start doing the dungeon bosses. Uh, if we didn't take those detours, it probably would have took us. Uh, hmm. Now we gotta go all through it now. But it probably would have took us like 40 or so minutes. We didn't take the detour and have to redo part of the dungeon because we ran out of arc mages. Yeah, probably around like 45. Not only that, we also went to go buy a, buy a skill as well so that's also another add-on to that oh wait this gives me a sprite i just realized what level level 50 um i damn it gives me a bow but i don't need the bow i already have a bow fuck dude these are useless for me if there was a sword one, it would be actually useful. Do I want to build two sprites? No, I don't. Oh, well, shit. This is fucking useless for me. Damn. Ah. I, I would have to sell one of these. I have to sell it. They're both useless. It sucks. Damn. And that's the last quest for that. Uh, let's go in here. Because I think the silver key is for this. I think the gold key is in here for this.
man, I wish this game had add-ons. I would want to add on to display if I actually equip something. It's like, you equip this. That'd be great. A great quality of life for me. Oh, you bastard, you would stun. Oh, I should have used these too. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about those. Oh yeah, I was coming here for this. So on the bright side, I can use these for the next dungeon. Stop that. Yep, here we go. Ah, it's you. That's who it is. We summon you. Sit here for a bit, get my HP back. Um. Well. The best thing about using firearm is that you don't have to worry about being a certain distance back. Unless you're really skilled at playing like far distance. Oh my god, he has... He has it. He has that annoying exhaust skill. Or debuff. Wish I had a better pet right now. Something that actually holds aggro. Has taunt or something. Oh, you bastard, you cut off the skill in the middle of it. Okay, there we go. Wait, what the f- You just summon a minion. Stop that. So that mission is done. Now we have one more boss. Which is... Like I said, we gotta go get the key that is all the way over here. We can get rid of these keys because that is only for... The silver key is only for the mystical chest. Now we gotta go get the key for the mysterious chest. Or suspicious chest. It's a slight HP boost. <laughs> Why not? Better than what we're using. 
Oh, what is it now? Okay, let's put these in. These will be changed out later anyway, but you know, still. Come on, move faster. Come on, bagel. Damn, he's out of stamina. Um, give him these. Yeah, we still have old crappy encouragements too. Full emblems. God, there's gonna be a lot of farming. Not gonna lie, I would I would say this trying to get yellow weapons would probably throw a lot of solo players off. At that point, you are kind of forced to do a group or wait until late game to come back and finish those bows before you reincarnate. Reincarnation is basically uh, rebirth. You go all the way back to level one, but you get bonuses for doing it. And honestly, I don't plan on rebirthing, well, reincarnation into like level 100, like always. I mean, there's hasn't been really much of a difference in stats depending on like where you reincarnate. I've noticed. Uh, bagel you actually you actually did something good good job ah the ram oh oh not looking forward to this what do you have oh oh that agility i i kind of want that agility hopefully that drops Oh, you drop a quest book? The fuck? Excuse me? Huh, I did not know that. Know that. If I would have known that, I would have been doing the quill, the quill books. Do it now. Attack him. Punch him in the stupid face. Did you just miss? Just off that one attack, you took it. I took aggro. Even with a hundred and seventy move speed. It takes so long to get away from the enemy. There we go. Got it. Apparently we got something. Then. Oh, he's probably going to give us some more of those, uh, what are they called? The little accessory upgrade stuff. Now we move on. And we go outside. 
and turn in our repeat quests and get our reward. I don't think the reward is going to be very good if I remember correctly, but you know, hey. It'll give something. Here, first things first, sell. Snare would work. I'll keep snare just in case. So they're going to give 39 um, silver just for selling these. Okay. I mean, you probably get like, I guess, about three or five gold for putting it inside of auction. Depending on if somebody power leveling, like I said. I would say the best gear for that would be like level 60 gear to put inside of auction but people power leveling okay there we go we got the title for that uh we got pants oh damage reduction all though uh this is why i like dungeon gear but i also hate it at the same time don't touch me no Anywho, <laughs> but yeah, this is why I like Dungeon Gear at the same time, and but also like sets. I have a feeling that my set is useless. The next set, it it just feels very useless to me. It feels like I should just go for Dungeon Gear. This won't give me like any HP. This will give me HP. Mm. Do I have to go dungeon gear with Ranger? Just because of their shitty um, sets? Set abilities or bonuses? I don't think so because it still gives me 10% um, evasion. And 10% crit. It's just annoying that my last set bonus is behind a freaking reincarnation. I don't get that. Why Why is that a thing? I mean, you could have put an extra skill in there at least. Yeah, the extra skill in there would have balanced it out. You know, like, Tainted Shot having, like, 40% damage along with it. That would have been... That would have been... Mwah, that would have been perfect. But just quick shot? That's crazy. Damn, this this class kind of gets boned in that. But um, if you guys want to see the t title for that, the title gives crit damage but lowers your defense by 10%. So if you're all about crit, then that would be it but if you want like you're having your defense and surviving it wouldn't be the best thing for you so the next thing we actually have to go to is holy king dungeon which i believe is right no that's not it wait a minute oh yeah i gotta go to her because um this quest requires her so. God damn it. Stop it. Oh shit. Bagel, are you still fighting it? Are you losing? Crazy that you're losing to that thing. What the hell are you fighting?
Ah, can't see. Blindness. So we turn this in, get a little bit of XP, and we grab this, which is for our next dungeon. Uh, let me check. I don't think we have another quest for this. I think this is also a single quest. Yeah, this is also another single line quest. Kind of told you guys that this was going to be happening quite a bit. Uh, this quest, well, this dungeon is in Lands of Psy, so I so I'm already here. So I... Oh, the dungeon's down here. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll just wrap up there and uh, we'll just do the next video when I have the time. <laughs> I just didn't expect, you know, to be kind of hoed inside of my yellow department. But then again, like I said, this is my first time doing like dungeons without being how I say it this is my first time doing a doing these dungeons with a class that is very squishy druid is not very squishy because right now I would have gorilla form and gorilla form would you know be very tanky and I would be able to heal myself for druid so I'm used to having like a very versatile kit and not only that druid wolf form shreds everything and not only that now that the bird form got rechanged it, it shreds every a whole group of enemies now so i'm i'm pampered by the druid class except for in the weapons and weapons and gear druid kind of fall short their their weapons and gear kind of kind of suck ass i'm not gonna lie to you especially hammers hammers are oh fucking awful there's only like two hammers that are actually good in the game for a druid that are actually like really good for druid and that's for the wolf form and they're both like crit hammers it is the level 95 hammers they're the only hammers that i can see anybody truly using for a druid especially if they're playing wolf form you would never use two handed unfortunately Unfortunately, I went through the mistake of getting the two-headed hammer. This is also good for defensive as well. The level 95 right here. Oh, it's the level 100 hammer, I think. Yeah, the level 100 hammer is actually, you know, the best one. I would personally use two of these, which will be the orange form of this and the yellow form. Whichever one you prefer. Or you can go with the yellow... 100 along with you know the skull the skull well bone chewer which the bone chewer is like exceptionally good because of the whole defense increase and is a pretty high chance to proc this along with having evasion druid is fucking amazing late game <laughs> it's just that you have to build a whole bunch of damage reduction but yeah uh, this isn't a druid playthrough. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm used to being pampered like a freaking child. I can go in here, right? Okay, yeah, I can go in here. Good. So we'll do this next next video. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. My pamperedness is over. I have to actually adapt to a more squishier class and understand where this is going. Uh, until then... Peace out. Are you regenning H Hey, yeah, you are. Why have you not been? Hold on. This is the first time I've been seeing him regen. Every other fight, I haven't seen him regen once, and now all of a sudden he's starting to regen H P. Okay. Anywho. Time is
is the reason why we fight to stay alive until